So, we have, uh, there were eight correctional officers that were banned from guarding, um, the ex-cop that killed, uh, uh, George Floyd. Uh, they were also, according to their lawyer, um, removed from the same floor that he was, uh, of the cell that he was put into. Uh, so these uh, eight correctional officers are suing over discrimination, uh, being that they were told they couldn't guard the guy because they were black, which in my opinion, it, it also proves um, the lack of trust uh, the justice system actually has in black officers because uh, uh, because the, uh, they're black, these uh, people think that they can't do their job and um, will try to kill the guy because he's a white guy who killed a black guy. Um, to me, it doesn't really make sense why black people become cops when uh, cops are always trained to... Um, be afraid of black people. And there's been many incidences where uh, white cops have targeted uh, black cops off duty and accused them of crimes because they are a black person. Um, but this is just another uh, case of racism within the justice system. And now to Minneapolis, where some new allegations are raising eyebrows. Eight minority corrections officers have filed discrimination charges claiming they were barred from guarding or having any contact with former police officer Derek Chauvin. Now, Chauvin is facing murder charges in the death of George Floyd. ABC's Alex Perez has been following this story for us and has the latest. Alex, according to these corrections officers, what exactly were they told? Well, Diane, all eight of these officers have filed a formal complaint with the Minnesota Department of Human Rights. And let me set the scene for you. This all unfolded back on May 29th. Former officer Derek Chauvin had just been arrested. He's charged with murdering George Floyd. And he's in the process of being transported over to the Ramsey County Detention Center, the jail there. And that's when these eight corrections officers say they were notified by their boss, the jail superintendent, Steve Lydon, that they needed to move away from the fifth floor be reassigned to a different area. The fifth floor is where Derek Chauvin was headed, a cell on that floor. It wasn't until later that they found out that they were the eight minority officers of color who were on the fifth floor, and their superintendent told them that they were moved to protect them. Now, of course, that did not go over well. Those officers... They were moved to protect the officers. What is uh, Derek Chauvin that dangerous? that he is going to kill uh, black cops because they're black? Is that what they're thinking? Um, n no. They were, they were thinking that uh, these officers are black, so they must obviously hate white people if they kill black people. Um, just straight up racism. Um, in my opinion, dude, if I was these correctional officers, I would sue the city over racism and then quit the force. Officers say this incident was not only distressing, but they called it humiliating. In about 45 minutes after making that decision, the superintendent reversed the order uh, and since then has issued a statement that the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office uh, released to the public saying that his intention was to protect and support and not further victimize these correction officers. Now, of course, these officers say they are highly trained, have always done their job exactly the way they were supposed to so the fact that they were segregated and also treated as if they couldn't do their job because of the color of their skin is highly troubling to them well yeah they were the, the they were being treated as infants um, in a way uh, we need to protect you guys when yeah it wasn't even the case I mean these guys are supposed to be uh, trained law enforcement officials that we all know that 
just because they're trained doesn't mean they're you know efficient in their abilities but it is they they are the they basically were told because you're black you can't guard this guy diane and alex i know right now these are just allegations but is this something anecdotally known to happen moving around corrections officers based on their race and the race of the inmate well, Diane, all of the research shows that these correction officers are moved based on their behavior at work. And if none of these officers ever showed any behavior that would indicate that they would not be able to guard a high-profile inmate like Derek Chauvin, then they should not have been moved. And that's what investigators the Minnesota Department of Human Rights is now looking into. These officers say they want to see this superintendent move from his position. They want to see those who help him helped him enforce this order. They want to see those people disciplined. Um, and they're not going to stop, they say, through their attorney until these changes are made. And Diane? Alex, now that, that the intendant has superintendent has issued this statement, the case is filed. Where does everything stand now? Yeah, so Diane, Derek Chauvin has actually been moved to the Hennepin County Jail now, not far from where he was in the Ramsey County Jail, and he's going to be held there until his upcoming court hearing, and that's coming up on June 29th. Diane? All right, Alex Perez, thank you.